Hey guys, Corey here, Race Ready Fab. I have a CP4 pump out of a 2011 um, 2500 Duramax. And I want to show you what it looks like when the pump fails. Um, I already got these out, so just take the regulator out here. pumps definitely fail. If you look close, you see all that metal on there. It's the first place you look when you suspect that your pumps failed. Um, you know, sinus, it won't start. It's got no pressure, not building pressure. Um, caught this one before it really messed the pump up and locked up the timing gear. Um, take these tops off here. These things got a spring inside so you get a I see. Put that up. Some metal in the bore here. Let's see if I can get one of the pistons up here. We got one out here. You can see some roller up here. It's all pitted and worn from the metal and grinding in there. So this is why you know a CP3 conversion is commonly done prevent this. Um, they got a new pump, 4.2. Those fail too. And when they fail, you know, they go through the whole system, injectors, return back to the fuel tank, drop the tank, change the rails, all the lines. You get the chiller to do it, you spend 10 grand. Small shop like me, I mean, we're doing a lift pump, draining the tank, everything. I mean, it's still 8,500 bucks or so. so. It's pretty expensive right there. What you can do to prevent it, you know, is a lift pump, add some additive to your fuel to increase lubrication or do a CP3 conversion. We sell them on the website. I mean, they're 1700 bucks or so. Um, I use this company SDP. Found they make a, you know, well put together kit. Easy to install if you know what you're doing. This is the other. You can actually hear it. That's not good. This one's a little less worn than the other side. It's basically like a cam, so it's lobed, it pushes it up and down. But you can see all the scoring from all the metal in there. 
This customer said he was driving it down the street. Truck just randomly died on him, so. Didn't really have any signs that it was going. Um, just the work truck, not tuned, completely stock. Emissions all still intact. But there it is. If you suspect, you know, your pump's bad. First thing I'd check, do it while it's in the truck, take a few things off. This regulator here, the screen. If you've got metal buildup on it, your pump's junk. New injectors, rails, lines, drain the tank. Suggest doing a CP3 conversion. Or if you do a CP4 at the minimum, definitely put a lift pump on the truck. It'll save you some headache. Until next time.